bit like you know the tower in the tarot cards it's that going over and that is that you know moving away from the old story into the new story okay so we're in between stories and and the crumbling of the old story that's going to give way to the new story so i feel that people are literally being scooped up they are literally being scooped up and being placed to where they can play out their greatest greatest version so if you're having a tough time at the moment try to go gently as much as you can and try as hard as it is to trust this process because it is the unraveling of what no longer serves you you know the world around us is literally being turned inside out and we are a part of that process too um i don't feel there is any avoiding that i don't feel there is any escaping that and it's like things are just absolutely coming along to realign and that can be well it's a hugely dynamic transformational process so if you are having a tough time try to trust this for we are being realigned just as the world around us is and we are seeing it in real time um, we're seeing all of that play out in real time you know it's a vital part of this process as we shift between those stories to unravel the words crumble come to mind and to even tumble into it's like there's a tumbling into those deep dark waters or the other way to put it tumbling deep into the earth you know it's like a, a dying and a rebirth um you know for us to come home to our true self which is what spirit were whispering at at the beginning there of the stream is that you know we are being really kind of pushed into that deep sense of remembrance of all that we really truly are so to come home to our true self and have that courage to weave shape and form new pathways and new stories that are rooted in wholeness goodness and grace they're the key words you know so as you're moving through all of this that new pathway that's being laid let it be around you know wholeness goodness grace words that you know it, it, that are not always always kind of used you know everything in this world moves so fast that you know wholeness goodness grace has been really really devalued but yet i think there's this deep yearning within the collective to pull it back the the yearning in the collective is to slow down for things to be more deeper more slower more wholesome more goodness more grace it's a gritty you know it's gritty um you know it, it it's weaving that goodness and grace for ourselves for each other you know if we we can kind of really allow ourselves to dissolve to alchemize you know to trust that process for ourselves we do it for each other and our home you know the land the earth you know we're all longing you know wherever we look we're longing for it each other longing for it the land around us is longing for it the earth gaia um and our place within it you know our place amongst um it's rich tapestry you know and as spirit said you know um a couple of weeks ago you know the good news is the time we're living in the light the light is coming for you that light is coming for you there is no avoiding that the light is coming for us so literally unshackle fall over fall apart is because the light is getting in there and shaking it to pieces 
you know, and I think it's really interesting, isn't it? You've got some really large institutions in the world where the head of those institutions are really aging and also becoming unwell. I wonder what that says about the times that we're living in when we think about the old story is falling away, the old story is collapsing, the old story is dying, and a new story is birthing. So when we look at those huge institutions, the most major institutions in the world, um, and the heads of those institutions are aging or becoming sick or passing, I wonder what that says about the time that we're living in. Yeah. Wonder what your thoughts on that are. What does that say? I think, you know, there is without a doubt some very clear messaging there. And I think it speaks volumes about the time that we live in.